since molecules can be joined together in dehydration reactions which remove water these same molecules can then be split apart when water is returned in a hydrolysis reaction if a water molecule is added to a disaccharide an OH to one of the subunits and H to the other then this disaccharide is then split into its separate monosaccharide components. Hydrolysis reactions can also split dipeptides. An OH is added to one of the amino acids, an H to the other, and this separates the dipeptide into its separate amino acid components. Three separate hydrolysis reactions can split a triglyceride into glycerol and three separate fatty acids. Dehydration reactions and hydrolysis reactions can be used to synthesize and break down other types of biomolecules as well. Nucleic acids, for example, can be joined together through dehydration reactions and broken into their component nucleotides through hydrolysis reactions.